Here is a job I'm doing for a mate. I made this for him. I don't know what it's for. He just gave me a bit of paper and a makeshift drawing of this sizes. But he wants two deep centre holes, one on each side. I would think that would be deep enough. Should be. What it's for, I, I don't know. What? That one should be deep enough, yes. Probably make this one bigger. Now, this is the second one. Imagine that would be deep enough. Oh yes. Right, apart from the turning, there are a few books I would like to, the, to discuss. Um, they are very old books. Um, let's hope someone finds them of interest. Now here is the first one. Drilling and Threading Cutting Handbook. Popular Mechanics in Mechanics Press, Chicago. First published, 50 cents. Now, it was first published 1924. This publication 1993 well I have it about 18 years with 280 298 illustrations drilling threading and cutting they're all different tools for their jobs how to drill trap holes, use for left hand drills. You go through it, I can't go through every page for it would take too long. But I've seen it is very well illustrated, documented. Special tools and devices for drilling. Keys for small drills is all in it. There's nights I just sit and read these books, which is very good pastime. Popular Mechanics, Drilling and Thread Cutting Handbook. Now here is another one. Now this is old. This was printed, published in 1932. 
general engineering workshop practice, a guide to the principles and practice of workshop procedures, That was a photograph probably of a workshop 19, before 1932. First chapter is about hand tools. Metal and engineering production. Some very I have some of these very old tools. And threads. Some of these tools and machines aren't in existence today. They're out of date, obsolete, but they were good on their day. You would hardly see these today. There's something you very seldom see at the moment. They're getting rare and expensive. Good anvils. Now here is another book. I read a lot. As you can see I have a lot of markers on it referring to different jobs. Now Advanced Machine Work Robert H. Smith. This was published in 1984. This sorry about the camera work. I'm holding the camera and trying to turn the pages.
now I've got the camera stable This is a fantastic book. I would advise anyone that comes across a copy of it to snap it up. I go through it a lot. It is a great book. I have it oh, 25 years. I, I can't remember what I paid for it. But when I got it home, I was glad that I bought it. I have Sometimes I leave wee bits of plans right, and I go to this book and they're on it for a murder. There is one thousand five hundred and um, well, there was about thirty page one thousand five hundred and thirty pages on it which is very good. I came across this the other day, which is a... stock list for tools. 1981. And you go through the prices. For some of the stuff, today's prices would scare you. I used to get quite a bit of stuff off of these firm, off of this firm, G and W machine tools. I've dealt with them quite a lot. Here was another old one with it. Catalog. Look at this. The cover must be missing, but imagine buying drills for sixty five P. 90p 130 drill stones 2 pound this is quite an old one also
Letter sets, 27 punch, size a quarter, a quarter, 14 pound, size 3 sixteenths, 17 pound. Well, there's it there. KPC Services. Well, and Keynes. Now here is something you should not be with height in the workshop. Topping drill sizes. Nearest equivalent and fractional on It's a handy thing to have if you don't have time for the study a whole lot at that moment. Is the book every workshop should have. Machinist's Handbook. This is my second one. I have another was very old and tattered. I, that's why I keep this one very clean. Try to. Anything you ever need to know. Regarding engineering or most other trades. Just look at this. This is my. Uh, this is the twenty fifth edition. I think I have a fifteen or a sixteenth edition somewhere. If I use the other one a lot. Just throw it down behind me when I'm there. But that is some of the books which I have. Now that is some of the books I have. I have more but I thought I would show these. Now there are a few books which is very useful but this is very useful machinist's handbook brilliant i hope someone finds this of interest probably not but i hope someone finds it of interest and thank you for watching uh, the name is Benny Marner. Go to my website. I have loads of tips on it. Thank you.